All right, let's see how well my diction holds up today. Um, we're doing Heart of the Matter, a continuation of the Final Fantasy XIV story quest, talking to Growing Way. We're in the northwest corner-ish of the Greatest Ends Endsvale. And here we go. Oh, what do I do? What to do? What to do? I promised Leaving Way I would help, but... Growing Way... It's kind of, yeah, I think it's close-ish to what his voice is, but probably not good. So if this voice doesn't sound like I've done... I'm sorry. No, I promised I'd help, so that's what I'd do. That's what I'll do. The archives are on the second floor of the main plaza, the eastern wing. Follow me. Yeah, definitely. Very good chance that's not even close to what I did for his voice before. I suspect the Loperids are up to something, but if there is aught to be learned of the final days, I think it best we play along, for now at least. For now at least. That says Yashtola in my always failing impersonation of her. Let's uh, pop the headshot just to cover that up. Just look at my beautiful face for a while. I know, I know it's mesmerizing. You'll get over it. I certainly have. It is always funny that, to me at least, that there are people in free companies that leave. That's okay. I guess this is not where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to teleport up. Hold on. There are people in free companies that leave the notifications on for when people log in and log out. And I don't believe there is a possibility of designating only one or the other. I think you have to have both. It's like you will see logins and logouts and there's no possibility of only seeing logins, which would be the helpful one. Logouts are, dare I say, practically useless. Can I teleport? No? Okay, crap. Well, okay. Where'd he go? Second floor, main plaza. So this is the main plaza, right? <laughs> okay, well, I want to go... This is... This is fucking stupid. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate so much. Um, I need a teleporter. Right? To the second floor. So... Okay, this one? Teleporter? Upper burrows? But yeah. As soon as I joined a free company in this game for the first time, I was like, I don't need to or want to see all of these login log out messages so i found out how to turn them off but there are people who as soon as i log in they will say hey how you doing like hey hey mercy i'm like why do you have that on that's so much why do, why, do, why do that to yourself but you know people do as people do and whatever here's growing way with ish and thank i'm not gonna abbreviate their names again, I'm sorry. That's, I felt bad. I don't like it. The archives are right through this door, but it seems to be locked. I guess we'll just have to go, go and find whoever has the key. Growing way, enough. If you have not else to tell us of the final days, you need, you need only say so. We can ill afford to be wasting time here, as you well know. Did you yourselves not tell us we must be we must act quickly? Yes, yes we did, but the moon was to be a perfect paradise for the people of Etheris, and we're running out of time to make everything ready for their arrival. 
We hoped you'd see the wonders we have to offer, but you found nothing but faults and flaws in our work. Only one of you saw our potential, so you, so you others must be kept here. Ah, uh, so that's Living Ways game. Run us about in circles, and failing that, lock us away so we can't put the planet at risk. Everyone except Ulian J. He understands what is at stake, what must be done. I fear you've mis misjudged us, Growing Way. Never have we de de uh, decried the notion of using the moon as a means of escape. That said, my heart breaks at the, at the thought of abandoning Ithiris and her reflections to their doom. If there is a way to avert the final days, I wish to find it. We all do. We may fa fail, but our efforts would never be at the expense of your plans. But why would you take that risk? There's no room for ifs and maybes now. The people of Ethereus will escape here to the moon. They'll be safe, and we'll finally get to see all their happy, smiling faces. I'm sorry, but we can't let you leave. We, we just can't. <clears throat> and he runs off, and... Well, he runs off to join three other bunnies. Do what you must, but try not to hurt them, he's saying to the bunnies, who have two tomes, so books, open. Which I think makes them scholars. Another has a staff with a crystal at the top and a little little crystal at the bottom, so maybe a cleric? Black mage? Thaumaturge? I'm not sure. I'll be back in a moment. Don't do anything rash while I'm gone. Says Growing Way as he runs off again. The three bunnies square up against us, as they have been. If we dally, they'll overwhelm us with sheer numbers. I say we knock these ones out, split up, and make our way to the exit. Says Thancred. Ishtola nods. Agreed. Let us reconvene where, where Argos remains outside. Oh, waits outside. And the three of us do indeed split up, running different directions. Let me repop this. Get in. Here we go. I love you, I need you, oh God. Okay, I got my three taken care of. Oh, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah, that, they're like, I'm, I'm again, this is level 84. But they're barely doing any damage to me. And I'm only level 88. Kind of sad. Growing weight all by yourself? I'm sorry, bud. That's mean to you. Ah, dang it. We have to save them as Growing Way goes down. I'm, I'm kind of sad. I liked them. Ooh, ether current! Yay! I'm not sure we've gathered ether currents before this one, literally during a story quest, like an active combat story quest. Like we're wait, I guess we're not technically in a cutscene right now, so maybe um. Oh gosh. Luckily, mounts survive with one hit point. But, I mean, I knew I was jumping, but it was farther than I thought it was going to be. And mounts surviving with one hit point is, in all, you know, for all intents and purposes, pretty fucking crazy. Again, sorry, I, not again, but I apologize for my profanity. Hope you can forgive me. We're going up some uh, switchback ramps. To the south, through the double doors that lead back toward the crater, if we were to go that far. Here's Argos, Yishtola, and Thancred. They are all fine. Good, you're here. We must hurry to the Watcher's Palace and find Early on Jay. Cutscene. 
we see, you know, the moon surface, little little craters here and there, a little rubble of, of rocks here and there. Early on J being guided by four Loperates. Or Loperate, if that's And uh, what, pray tell, do we seek at the Watcher's Palace? Oh, come off it, friend. You know full well why we're here. The time has come for you to return to Atheris and help your brethren prepare for their journey here and beyond. Forgive me, Living Way. But I cannot in good conscience proceed with this plan. Huh? But what about the final days? The death and the doom? Oh, we have to hurry before it's too late! Says Mapping Way. Ooh, can I, wait, can I grab this? Hold on. <sighs> I couldn't grab it and I shouldn't try in the, the least. future. Your unflagging commitment to your duty is endearing, to say the least, is what I... Cut off, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. I want to do it right now, though. I'll, I'll, I'll grab it in the video. Oh, bugger! The bunnies see us running up to join Orion J. He gives us a calming motion with his hand. Be at ease. They bear you no grudge, nor do I. How could we, having come to understand your purpose? The Loperit, the four of them, are all kind of, like, cowering, but not a lot of cower. Just, like, if you were to stand straight up, straight back, just imagine, like, hunching over a little bit and bringing your hands in fists to, like, just underneath your chin and, like, looking straight down. That's about, that's about what they're doing. Ears up and perky, if that matters. For millennia, you and yours worked tirelessly towards the singular purpose of this heavenly vessel's construction. An arduous feat by any measure. Mm-hmm. It is clear you have spared no effort. Why, your very names are a testament to your dedication. Our, look. our names? I'm not sure I understand what you're getting at. They all look up to him with their cute blue eyes, their mouths slightly agape. Names are an expression of the self, a declaration of one's hopes and aspirations. I mean, if you give yourself a name, sure, otherwise they're just given to you by your parents, but whatever. Your use of contemporary, uncomplicated nomenclature doth ensure clarity of purpose. Yeah, I'll agree. Yeah, sure. There can be no doubt that your love for the people of Atheris is boundless and pure. Living, growing, mapping. Yes! Singing. Yes! A most mellifluous phrasing. That would be singing way. We Loperits were born love for Atheris. Correct. That shining, shimmering blue jewel, brightest star in the sky, brimming with life and possibilities. Excuse me, sorry. For as long as I can remember, I've toiled in anticipation of the day when this vessel might be needed. Mapping way. All I've ever wanted was to meet those she cherished so dearly, to serve and serve well. That goes for all of us. Don't you see? So help us. Help us help them. Lead them here where we can keep them safe. Says Living Way. The leader. If there's anything wrong with what we've built, we'll fix it. We'll make it right. Orion J takes a couple steps toward Living Way, gets on one knee. Your works want not for repair, yet there remaineth much for you to learn of men and your own kin besides. Singing Way, thy name bespeaketh more than the simple marriage of rhythm and rhyme. The songs of Etheris are beyond counting and span the length and breadth of emotion. Yeah, yeah. Maps are monuments to man's pioneering spirit and his devotion to charting the furthest reaches of our star. Also, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Many have devoted their lifetimes to exploratory pursuits, to venture unto the highest mountains and the deepest oceans in search of unknown frontiers. Early on, Jay, you're so smart. And thou, my friend, I... Oh, I do not think we've met. My... Uh, my name is Pudding Wave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. How are you going to spin this one already on Jay? I mean, everybody loves pudding for sure. Well, I can't say everyone. I don't I don't I try not to work with absolutes, but pudding is a pretty um given that there are various puddings in the world, I dare say it is it is just a very 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 small percentage of the world that hates all forms of pudding. That's, I think that's, I think I'm good enough to to say that. I would I would venture less than five percent. I want to say less than one percent, but I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say less than five percent of the world's population hates pudding, of all like all puddings. Probably from a texture standpoint, to be entirely honest. Pudding way. Yes, indeed. A name of deep and abiding significance, I'm yep. sure. Mm -hmm. But one perhaps better communicated through delicious deeds than tasteless words. For certain. A judicious application of fey magics at a later juncture may be appropriate. <clears throat> and living way. <laughs> it is no easy feat to convey the significance of thy moniker. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. When I was a bookish boy, a dear friend of mine was fond of peppering me with questions as I read, to my occasional annoyance. One day, I posed to her a question of mine own. What doth it mean to live? Is he talking about Moonbreda? We'll find out. After much contemplation, she proffered this answer. The anticipation of a half-read story's conclusion. The hope today's mistake may serve as tomorrow's lesson. Profound. The wish that a new acquaintance may one day call thee friend. She believed it to be all these moments and more. I find no fault in, in all of those. It's beautiful. I... I want to understand, but... I'm programmed to kill. I, too, still labor to find mine own answer. T'would be my pleasure to assist you and yours in embarking on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. For thee. He hands a blue potion bottle to Livingway. Who takes it? Ink as blue as the waters of Etheris. Made in haste, though I assure thee, the quality has not suffered for it. The people need not be persuaded by honeyed words. Nay, I have faith they shall do what is right in due course. Until they do, I beg your patience, friends. And with that ink, let us fill the empty pages of Living Ways Compendium. An open exchange of ideas will surely afford you all a better understanding of modern man, and with it, ideas for improvements and renovations. But more importantly, it shall empower us to together find a way forward. By the way, like the entire time we have had the, the Earth, I'm just going to call it Earth because it's easier for me, in the background, some magical kind of like red energy areas in the background a lot of like like a meat like a constant meteor shower also like little small meteors i don't know how they how big they would be if you were up close and personal with them but i would assume at this point they're Let's just say they, they look like dots 
flying across the screen. The same size dots as the stars that are stationary in the background. And there also is a red kind of fiery ring in space as well. It's weird. I don't understand. I hope you're right. Thank you for this lovely gift. Is there supposed to be a meteorite cloud that just constantly circles the moon? Did I miss or not remember the explanation of that? There you have it. I shall remain with the Loperets to ensure that all is in order. All right. Though we must needs prepare for every eventuality, you would all agree that the evacuation of our star is a last resort. So we have learned that Loperet becomes Loperets when plural. Okay, it's not like ox. Or sorry, no, that's not right. It's not like moose. What's the other one? Or sheep. Loperets. To oh. accept failure is to accept the demise not only of our star, but that of Reen's, of all reflections, and the souls that call them home. Which is why I have every faith that you shall fight to the last, that such drastic measures may prove unnecessary. Should the worst come to the worst, and I pray deeply that it won't, I'll take comfort in knowing preparations were made under your watchful eye. Says Thancred, in case you didn't notice the shift in voice actor. Aye, thou mayest be assured that if calamity cometh, not a soul will be left behind. If being the operative term. Your mom's an operative term. No, um, at our hip glows the flower, now red and orange. And... <laughs> The Watcher comes up behind us. That flower, how came it into your possession? Wait. We explain. It looks like a flower from, like, literally Mario. Like the fire flower. How very like her, capital H, her, Heidelin. Guided by its light, you may come to know her true intentions. Intentions which remain a mystery even to us. In our time, we called it Elpis. That is E L P as in Paul, I S as in Sam. You would do well to remember the name Elpis. Elvis, but Elpis. I look at the flower, put it back in my side pouch. Uh, I hate to interrupt, but. I feel like I need to make amends for all the secrecy. The Loperitz and Orion J approach us, and Living Way says that to us. Think nothing of it. We haven't been the most gracious of guests. Do convey our apologies to Growing Way and the others. Do convey our apologies to Growing Way and the others. And the others. It's like, I can do it a little bit nasally, still British, posh. I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna try. No promises. But of course! And when next we welcome more guests from Atheris, we'll have learned to be much more hospitable hosts. You were very hospitable. Until you weren't. Until you tried to force, force us not to, not to leave. Oh, and but circling whatever. back to the matter of inappropriate secrecy, we ought to discuss our benefactors. Okay. Agreed. The Charlian Forum, yes? Hmm. The Loperets you know? were shocked. The more I heard, the more obvious it became. The forum's aims align closely with those of your anonymous patrons. A telling coincidence would be an understatement. Though had we not taken it upon ourselves to peruse certain restricted tones in Labyrinthos, we might still be unaware of their plans. But let us continue this discussion upon our return. I dare say we have kept Alphino and the others waiting long enough. I dare say. And the screen pans up to the earth. Four pillars of blue light. That kind of ring of red light. Let me pop my headshot back to get rid of the FC chat. 
and we'll talk to early on Jay to finish this out. Twas a relief to see living way was pleased with my gift of ink. To serve and serve well, though their knowledge may be lacking, their boundless love is a blessing without peer. It will be no easy task to, pre to prepare them for what must needs be done, but gladly do I embrace this duty, duty, even if it doth necessitate that we part ways for a time. Forgive me my absence, but I have the utmost faith in you, in all our fellow scions. When next I return to Aetherius, I pray I find you all in good health and good spirits. We get an ether current, experience points, which, which mean basically nothing, and gill, which is basically nothing. Let's see how much this moves the needle on experience points. Maybe like 1 20th of the bar? I don't know. I could actually give you the exact percentage, but I... You know what? Fuck it. Um... Oh, hold on. Four seven five two zero zero divided by one zero four five nine zero zero zero. Sorry, four percent. Actually, one twentieth was actually pretty close because that's five percent. This is this is four point five percent of the bar. So, if I did twenty, I'm gonna just gonna guess twenty five. No. 20, 22.5-ish. We, we would probably get... If we did 22.5 story quests on this character, we would go from 0% to 100% and, you know, get the level up. But anyway, that is the end of the quest, which means it's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.